Christians are not minority in the north. You cannot put us by the side. Northern Christian leader. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. A Northern Christian leader, AVM Monday Morgan Batad, has said that Christians are not a minority in the north. The retired Air Vice Marshal disclosed this during an interview on Channel Television's politics on Tuesday while speaking on the All Progressives Congress APC adoption of Muslim Muslim ticket. Morgan, who explained her stand while giving statistical, statistical, rather, statistical analysis, noted that Christians are not the minority against the popular narrative people have of them and should not be pulled to the side or cheated. He said, no, Christians are not a minority in the north. I can give you an example. In the Namawa state, Christians are not below 80%. In Taraba state, Christians are not below 75%. In Plateau state, Christians are not below 85%. In Benue state, Christians are not below 90%. In Kogi state, we speak 50-50. In Kwara, we can say Muslim is 60%, Christians 40%. In Brono state, we can say 60-40%. I cannot give you the statistics of Kano State, but in Kaduna, you can say 40 60. What I'm saying is that on the whole of the North Central and Northwest, you cannot pull us by the side. Recall that a few months ago, the All Progressives Congress APCL threw the country into chaos with the announcement of the adoption of a Muslim Muslim ticket for their party presidential race. Despite the many disapproval and negation from majority in the country, Bola Ahmed Turimbo. The flag bearer of the All Progressive Congress still went ahead to choose his friend and mate Kashim Shetima to join him in his pursuit for the presidential power. Kindly share your views on this. Okay, let me say this: eh? this is not in any. It is not. That is. This is not even what we are talking about. We are not talking about eh, Christians. You know, they are popular. They cannot be pulled to the side. You know that kind of a thing. Yes, it is good for them to come out to and oppose what they don't believe in. But we don't need this. Sincerely, this Muslim Muslim ticket, if you ask me over and over and over again, this issue has been overflowed. How about if this thing na person and if this our mouth na came, the picking body could not tear. That person body could not tear. We could not use cane, scatter the person body. But this Muslim Muslim ticket, to me, look on that day, vote your conscience. That is why I am still repeating it over and over again. Make sure you listen to your candidates. Listen to your own candidate and listen to all the presidential candidates that have said that they want to come and make Nigeria better, that are running for presidency come to into the free. Listen to these people. Vote your conscience. You don't owe anybody an explanation. No. Sincerely, you decide today that you are not going to, no problem. You decide that you are going to, no problem. At the end of the day, what is very necessary is you cast your vote for that person that you are convinced will make Nigeria a better country. That is what we need. Sincerely, that is what we need. And I hope, I know I speak the minds of on, of more, of majority of Nigerians. Silas is the best answer to religious bigotry. We already know that Muslims are minority in Nigeria. There's no way. Exactly. Silence is, okay. I hope you're not saying this man is a religious bigotry. I mean, I've said it before. Silas is the best answer to these people. And then in 2023, you address these issues by coming out and casting your votes. Walk the talk. Do not just talk the talk. Walk it. It is true, my brother. Why didn't he say that the majority in Kano religious by God? Huh. All right. Hmm, Mr. Statistic, we shall see in the general election. Look, let me say this over and over again. If you're a Nigerian and you're still so interested in voting along religion, like I am so sorry for you. Now, so your own use be, even if they don't close your eye, eh? at least your ear still will function. Even if they don't come block your ear, I think your eyes they function. You should be able to see God no galah you lose both your sight and your hearing, your sense of hearing and your sense of seeing. You understand your sense of vision. Because with your vision you'll be saying, say, ah, even if you know if you hear say something no they right, at least you go feel see say true true, something no they right. Alright, as a citizen born and brought up in the northwest, I have always Said Christians are not in the minority, but the people who are in power always promote their own tribes to appear in the eyes of a public as the population that is more in number, but it is always false. All right, 
The statement that Christians are 80% in Adamo is the same as saying the Muslims are 80% in Imo. You do not know anything. Ad- <laughs> you don't even know anything about Imo. I beg, I beg. This is not the time for it. Like I said a lot before. Vote your conscience. This Muslim Muslim ticket, we have flogged it long enough. It is high time we leave this Muslim 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 ticket stuff and focus on making sure we get somebody who is competent, who is dodged, who is capable, who is credible, who will take Nigeria off and who is ready, he has that hunger. He has that hunger and you know he has a hunger and you know driving him to make Nigeria a better country. He wants to do it and is working towards making it happen. You cannot sit and manufacture figure in your palo. I think people are fools. Before you say someone is lying, you must have the truth. Do you know the accurate percentage? Oh, just like you manufacturing figures in Gidon, Chacha, Yambri, and Yadudu houses. All right. Don't say it clear that you people want to vote for your brother, Atiku. All this is not excuses. Just suddenly you people remember that Christian in the North is not minority. Hmm. The game plan is coming close. Well, I do not even think it is that direction. But my own is, eh, shubon. Somebody is saying APC, APC, the Muslim Muslim. At the end of the day, if you want to leave these people alone. Leave them alone. All right. The reason Muslims always claim majority is that they are not. They beat Muslims at the entrance of every community to give the impression that those communities are Muslims. False representation. They should stop all killings. All right. You are fitting for your pockets, Mr. Man, not vice president. Fitting for current president and not for vice president. I don't understand. I do not know why Nigeria allies only deceive us. These calculations are business. I did tell Luna, it doesn't mean anything. Our own is that at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what we want is a credible leader, a competent leader that is capable, that is dodged, and can take Nigeria from its present decaying state to a place that is better, a place of positive growth and development. An indication that Christians are not a minority is that there are far more churches in the north than there are mosques. You can write on the back and count the number of churches and mosques in Lauren, for instance, but you will find that there are about three times the number of churches than mosques. All right. Hmm. Without importing their Muslim brothers from the Nigeria Republic and Chad into Nigeria to cheat in election and population, Muslims are not populated than Christians. Hmm. All right. Because you are docile in politics, that is why they took you guys as minority. Henceforth, take your destiny in your hands. Use your vote to elect a candidate that have your interest at heart. And please, one note, when it comes to election, elect your people into various offices, even in the state office that you are in majority. You must change the narrative by being involved in power revolution in the north. All right. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.